Hey crafty friends, this is Jenny from Craft Test Dummies, and today we're going to take a little sneaky peek at some of the new Project Life goodies that are available from Stampin' Up! Let's take a little look-see! Okay, so let's take an overview at some of the products that they sent me to share with you. The first thing I want to share is this lovely little stamp set. It's called Day to Day, and it features the full words of the months of the year and the days of the week, but then there's also some of these fun little things we can just kind of check off the box and then, or circle the day of the week, and then there are seasons and then a calendar. So um, there's just a lot of fun ways of kind of customizing it. And um, I just got the box, so let me take a look. And yes, these are cling mount rubber stamps. So I love that because it's so easy to store so many in one box. Then I got the point and click line. And again, these are more acrylic stamps. You'll see that they've got some word bubbles, little chevrons, arrows. Um, I kind of like this. This reminds me of the little GPS icon. Uh, but just a nice sampling of uh, different things would go nicely in your journaling cards. Then they sent me the Project Life Big Shop Shot die set. And when you open it up, you see that it is the Thin Wheel dies. And wow, this one's really huge. Holy mackerel. It's a big, like, 4 by 6 one. And then the smaller card. And then, um, whoop, kind of got stuck in here, didn't it? This little kind of, I don't know what that is. What is that? I don't know, kind of like a little frame of some kind. Um, this looks almost like a label. So that's going to be fun, kind of fun to play around with. I'll get all that untaped. <clears throat> they also sent me the variety pack of 12 by 12 uh, pocket pages. And so there's an assortment here. I just wanted to pull one out to show you. It might be easier if I put it down. As you can see, it's very, very clear plastic. You can see right through it. And it seems to have a nice kind of reinforced uh, bonding here. So, like, can you see here? This is like a little, almost like a stitch line. It creates the pocket. But it's a nice weight of plastic. It's not so super thick that it's, um, you know, crunchy or it's not flexible. And um, as you can see, this one has the four, four by six, and then the four, uh, what is that, three by four journaling card options. So I'll be playing with that too. Then they also sent me a little corner rounder and this ephemera pack. So let's just take a look. Ooh, I love the little wood bits. I'm a sucker for little wood bits. So that's kind of a fun thing. Here are some pre-cut journaling cards. These actually are punch outs for alphabets. Some clear acrylics. And these are kind of a heavyweight card stock. Actually, are these stickers? <gasps> they are, they're stickers. Ah, okay, we'll play with those. And then also I got a little thing of washi tape and some little epoxy buttons. And then, of course, what everybody wants to know about is the actual Project Life journaling card set. So they sent me a couple of these Project Life um, markers, which I think are American Crafts, which are great. I love these. And then there are a couple of different sizes here. So here are the kind of three by four inch cards. Really bright, happy colors. Good for boys and girls. Some images, some lines. Let's see here. And oh my gosh, they're all two-sided too. How do I even show you these? There's so many. Just, wow, so many different versions. But you can see the color palette, which is kind of my point. I want you to see. Oh, and I'm going to flip them over. Look at the other side too a little bit. Pretty, oh wow. Now, what I like about these is these are such a great size. You could actually use these on greeting cards or gift tags too. So you really could, you know, get a lot of goodie. If you didn't want all of your Project Life pages to look the same, you could repurpose these for other things. So those are the small ones. And here are some of the big ones. Oh my gosh, and these are full size, so you could actually even use them right now as postcards. Wouldn't that be cute to get one of those in the mail? Nice, you know, mid-weight cardstock. That's super heavy, um, definitely good for layering. That, look at that. That's so cute. That'd be cute in a lunchbox, too. So, this is kind of the overview. Oh, wait, one more. What are these? The 
four by fours, four by fours. Today, love makes me smile, some bubbles, lots of little journaling spots, celebrate every day. Again, perfect for a card right now. And again, two-sided, oops. So you get lots and lots of bang for your buck. All right, I'm going to go and play and I'll be back and you can see some of the things I made. So I started off and I've made a couple things and I used two different styles of pages for this. So the first one just uses the four by sixes and then the little journal cards. So I did a little prom layout for our Italian foreign exchange daughter and it was so easy. I mean literally I printed out the pictures and I slipped in the cards. I did a little bit of stamping. Um, but mostly I just slid everything in and I let her write a little journaling card too. So this one's for something that you can do in 15 minutes. And then this one, again, I haven't even really decided what to do with these middle sections, um, but I picked three more photos. I did a little bit of journaling with one of the four by six journaling cards. Here I used some of the stickers uh, to kind of gussy it up a little bit. And again, super quick nice way of just getting these photos in a page and off of my desk, which is great. Because your pictures shouldn't live in boxes. That's a rule. Don't let your photos live in boxes. So then I made a couple of cards because I told you I'm in love with these elements. Um, I layered a 4x6 uh, piece of pattern paper with a journaling card and some washi tape and one of the little wood bits and a paper clip and made this super adorable little cards. Did I put anything inside? Oh yes I did. I used a Stampin' Up! stamp that says you and me. Cute, right? And then I did another one here. Again, same thing. I layered the 4x6 with one of the 3 by whatever this is and then I used some of the little acrylic bits over here and um, a little, some little stamps and we're good to go. So, I mean the color palette is really nice and fresh. The paper is very high quality which is what I expect and um, the accessories are super cute too, so there are a lot of options and I think it's a lot of fun. I hope you found this uh, informational and helpful, the little review of Stampin' Up! Uh, Project Life materials. If uh, you found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and we would love it if you subscribed to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a crafty day.